On this video, I'm going to cover how to create a virtual machine by using ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS. First, we're going to select the provided link, gateway.ansys.com, or the provided link by the ANSYS account representative. So then, with the credentials, we are going to authenticate to the service. So after the authentication, we're going to have the project spaces that your uh, administrator has created or potentially you will be creating. I'm going to select the project space that is already available here for me, ACE ADT. So then I have all the virtual machines that I have created in the past and even the HPC uh, setups that I have configured as well. We're going to be covering the following uh, slides as well. We're going to select new resource and I'm going to select a virtual desktop. So then I'm going to specify the virtual machine details, ADT whatever name you want to use for, for the machine here. And I'm going to select the availability zone. In this case, there is only one zone, but depending on your account and your location, potentially there are going to be multiple availability zones. I'm going to select next. And we have the option to select a template. We can create the template in for each of the setups. Here I'm gonna select uh, next without selecting any of the templates. We offer two operating systems, Windows and Linux. I'm going to select Windows for this demo and I'm going to select the Windows Server 2019. I'm gonna select next. Now I'm going to select add an application and the ANSYS portfolio is populated there. I'm going to select ANSYS Electronics Desktop 2022 R1. And as observed, Mozilla Firefox is going to be installed and BCX SRB Windows X server is going to be installed as well. That is going to be used later for the HPC configurations as well. I'm going to select continue. So then if you select basically test are the three applications, after the creation of a virtual machine, you can add more applications later as well. If you click in the ANSYS electronic desktop, you can specify the license server and the ANSYS account manager representative is going to provide the license server for you. You specify the number here, the IP address. So I'm going to select next. And as observed, we have multiple uh, virtual machines or family nodes that we offer. We can sort by physical cores. I'm gonna extend here this. We can sort them by physical cores, by virtual CPUs or by memory, by GPU cards as well. I'm going to select, I'm going to select the family node that I'm going to be used for, uh, for this uh, workshop number one and number two, which is the G3 16X large. And we can see the physical cores as well as per different variants of this uh, family and with the corresponding uh, RAM memory for each uh, family as well. I'm going, I'm going to keep disabled the hyper threading. So I want to use the physical cores. I'm going to select the G316X large, 500 gigabytes of RAM per node. And this machine has four GPUs that we're going to see in the following workshop uh, the benefits of using GPU for an SVR plus solution typing in ADT HFSS. So I'm going to select that one. Then I'm going to specify the hard drive for this virtual machine, one terabyte. And I'm going to leave the default options here for the disk type. And if you want to add additional storage, you can select it from here. I'm going to select next. So here I'm going to select next. And he, here we have the summary of the installation that is going to be uh, performed. It's a Windows Server 2018, the name of the virtual machine, the region, and then the three applications that they are going to be installed. And I have the number of cores, the cost per hour for this machine, the family type or the hardware type, and the RAM memory here. You can save the template from here. 
and you can create the virtual machine from here. I'm gonna select create the virtual desktop from here and the creation is going to be started. So as observed, the database entry is already running and eventually when the machine is ready, we're gonna have a machine that is like this one. I have another machine with the same hardware configurations. So as observed, the machine that is already starting here is the same machine at the left. This is already to be connected. It's already running in this case, and I'm going to be covering that in the following video later. This was how to create a virtual machine by using ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS. Thank you for listening.